welcome to the vlog. Today is one of the first steps into my New Year's resolutions, which is to make my house a home. That means finally putting up the curtains that I purchased four months ago, and hanging up my curtain rods and getting a bunch of other stuff done. The reason why I haven't done it is because I don't have a drill and I'm also scared to do it myself. So we have a special guest coming here today. Some of you have been asking about him, missing him in the videos for my van build, but Trent, my stepdad is coming over. He's on the way now. He'll probably be here in about 30 minutes to help me start making my house a home. I will be hosting a Christmas party, which is why all of my Christmas stuff is still up later today. So he's coming over early to help me do all of that before the rest of the family gets here. I'm gonna go ahead and make a little to-do list so we make sure we do everything, which we probably won't. Super excited to finally get these curtains up. Hopefully everything goes smooth. I have a ton of other stuff to do too. Curtains are priority number one. Living room. Have the to-do list i kind of did it in a priority level first we have living room curtains dining room curtains and like every 27 year old for christmas i got bidets for my toilet i want him to hook up the master bidet and then the main bathroom bidet and then mount my tv and then these two at the bottom are kind of secondary i don't think we'll get to them but we can hope um, hang up some of my plants. I want to hang them from the ceilings. I have hooks and then the master room curtain rods I don't have curtains for the master bedroom, but I do have the rods So if we can like get that up there like that'd be Helping future Sarah for whenever she makes her house home and buys curtains for her master room once she decides if she wants to paint that room brown or not Thoughts, okay, so We have our to-do list. We are ready to get the day started Let's do a time check on Trent and see where he's at. I give him 30 minutes. Step one, I'm gonna get the ladder out of the garage to get ready for the curtains, get the curtains out. The curtain rods are already together, sitting right under the window. And then the bidets, I'm gonna go and clean the toilet so we have fresh toilets to work with because gross. I have two piles of curtains. I have to figure out which pile is for the living room, which pile is for the dining room because they're different lengths. So pile number one, right there. And pile number two. If you're new here, I quite literally unboxed these months ago. Okay, both toilets are cleaned and ready for bidets to be installed. The window area is ready for curtain but i'm going to clear off the little bookshelf mantle for my tv so if we get around to it which i really hope we do i want to hang and mount the tv okay now that trent is like five minutes away i'm just now realizing i have no idea where i put all of the brackets and hardware to the curtain rods. Like I think they're in a bag somewhere. He's gonna be so mad if I don't have them when he gets here. It's crunch time, I need to find those ASAP. Sarah always does the most logical thing though. So that means they would be where all of my tools are, right? Okay. Here's a box. Ah, here they are. I did it. Okay. Whew. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Lucky for you, I just found all of the hardware for my curtain rods. I was like, oh crap, I have no idea where that is. It's been forever. Yeah, it works. 
There you go. Next. To the next toilet. Next toilet. Let's go. If the rod's too long, we can take out a middle piece and put it back together. What'd you do? Make five. I didn't do anything. Do five on the outside. Five? Yeah. Curtains, check. Dining room curtains, check. Check, 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 check. Oh my goodness, we did so good. Okay, so when Trent was here, we ended up only doing the curtains and the bidet. We did not have time to mount the TV or hang up any plants. And then my family got here. We had our Christmas party. It was a lot of fun. And then the cousins all went into my backyard and we played a version of baseball, but pitching a football and hitting it with the shovel I used to scoop Ruby's poop up with. It's cleaner than you'd think, but still, it's Ruby's poop shovel. So we played a little version of baseball in my backyard and it was honestly so much fun. Now it is time to reset for January. I'm going to be doing my January restock, reset, grocery shopping haul. Right now I'm gonna make a list. Then it'll be officially time to take down all of my Christmas decorations. I don't know how long people normally keep their decorations up. I just know if I don't do it now, it's gonna take me way too long to do it because of how busy I'm gonna be with work. 
trying to manage my time wisely this year. So I'm gonna go grocery shopping and take down my Christmas decorations and get my house ready. I've already made my grocery list, but something that was on my New Year's resolutions was to just eat, basically cook food and eat. So to help with that and to help with like my time management when it comes to work and like I get off of work and I don't know what to eat, I eat crackers. So to help with that, I have Pinterest up. I'm going to come up with one meal for every week at least, like something interesting to cook. Usually I'll have leftovers a lot of the days. Some days I'll just have like a little snack here. I still have like a frozen lasagna, I have pasta, I have the easy stuff. But I think this will help me actually know what to cook and make sure I have everything and like write it in my passion planner. There's the monthly overview with some break it down, a little mind map. So that's gonna be my mind map for this month is just a list of four meals. So I have an idea of what I can cook for this month. But I am going on a business trip. So that's a whole week I don't have to eat. Anyway, I'm gonna do some research and then we are going grocery shopping. Since I am taking a business trip this month and I do have a bunch of leftovers from the holidays and New Year's that I put in the freezer, I only came up with three meals that I'm gonna cook for the month. I've landed on a garlic butter steak and potatoes as one, a honey garlic chicken bites, and I'll probably just like eat rice with that. And then lastly, I didn't find it on Pinterest, but it's something I've been wanting to do is make a chicken and sausage gumbo. I've made chicken and sausage gumbo once. I was in Barcelona. It came out okay, especially for not having like the ingredients I was looking for. Those are my three meals for this month. So hopefully we'll have a little cook with me session at least once, maybe the gumbo, that'll be eventful. I'll probably do that on a Sunday because there's no way I can make a gumbo during the week when I'm working. I'm gonna estimate $320. Okay, we got my reusable grocery bags. You can find these on my Amazon storefront because my goal for 2024 is to have less waste, be more eco-friendly. And they're also so much more convenient. I promise you guys, you'd love them if you buy them. Okay, got the grocery list. We are ready to go. Okay, we are just going to my local neighborhood Walmart, which means there will be no buying of anything that is not food because they don't have anything that is not food. That's new to me. I didn't know those existed. Also, I want to try other grocery stores this year. There's a Rouse's that's pretty close to me. I think that's local to Louisiana. There is an Aldi that just opened. I've been to Trader Joe's once. I don't know how close there is one to me. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully Walmart is not packed today because I really don't feel like dealing with a lot of people.
bowl shopping bags. I always only fill up three and I always have a fourth one and these end up being super heavy and I'm like, use the fourth shopping bag, just use it. You know the drill, we are going to unpack it all, do a little haul, and then stock my pantry and fridge for January. Okay, we're starting off with some lady products, toilet paper, which I did not even need, pita bread, raisin bread, avocados, lemons, onions. I had to, you guys. A little personal cheesecake, as if the holidays weren't enough. Olive oil, croutons, minced garlic, some salad dressing, some more salad dressing, nutritional yeast flakes, this is for Ruby's food, tomatoes, some brown rice for Ruby, two sirloin kebab packets, two turkeys, that's for Ruby, potatoes. This is a little mixed onion and bell pepper mix for my gumbo. I got some new cheeses, a smoked gruri, I don't know, and Winsdale apricots. Strawberries, eggs for Ruby, yogurt. I wanna get into a yogurt phase for my mornings. And I also have some cream cheese for my raisin bread. Coconut flakes, granola, romaine lettuce, all of Ruby's frozen veggies, tortilla chips, and pretzels. And that is everything. The only thing that I did not buy, I think, that was on my list was chicken. I still have two packs in my freezer, but the chicken at my neighborhood Walmart, it's like the big chicken breast, and I just like the tiny little ones because it's easier to cook that way. So I made the call, I was like, no, I'm just not buying any. Maybe I'll get through this month. Maybe I will go to the other Walmart and get some, but I just don't like the big thick ones because it takes forever to cook, and then it's like dry because you have to cook it so long, and I just, I hate it. I get the super thin sliced chicken. This is everything. For a total of 47 items, I estimated $320, and all this food and toiletries cost me $231.22. Is inflation going away? Are groceries getting cheaper? Am I just like overestimate myself with my delusion so I'm not hurt by a $230 grocery bill? I don't think this is bad, and I think I got a lot of stuff. Minus the chicken, which still wouldn't have brought it up by much. I think this was a pretty good haul.
actually see through the boxes. So for here, I just wrote Xmas tree decor. For this one, I wrote fragile because it's all the breakables. And this is obviously Christmas. So go and load these up in the garage right now. naked once again. Now I have my photo corner back. I want to do something a little special with this. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. This is just packing up Christmas. Time to take this little thing into the garage. My house is officially de-Christmased. I've started kind of putting my normal decor back in place with the addition of a few items like my curtains and my house is coming together like, ah, I love it so much. Like the vibes are here. And that's one of the things that I wanna do for this year is really make my house a home, paint walls, hang up pictures, and it's only day one and I'm getting so excited. Like it looks so good. But anyways, that wraps it for this vlog. I put on my curtains when Trent was here stocked my house for January, came up with three meals that I'm gonna actually cook for January. So stay tuned for that, hopefully. Don't, don't hold me accountable, guys. Well, maybe you should hold me accountable. I'm gonna cook those meals. And de christmas my house and got my affairs in order. It's looking good so far. So thank you guys for sticking around and I will see you in the next one. And also before you go, any recommendations on how to decorate my house specifically? This little mirror corner, my little selfie corner, it's just, I know it's missing something for sure. I just don't know what to do with it. Should I hang up the mirror? Should I put the mirror in my room? Should I add a picture right here? Should I add a table? Like, I don't know what to do for anything. Also, I'll be mounting my TV soon. So then like I can put different stuff like on the stand. I need to decorate like my foyer as well. Foyer, foyer, foyer. I wanna do like the boxed molding type stuff, you know, anyway. Goodbye, thank you for sticking around.